Okay, the quickest and easiest way to do a ODU, which is your outside unit pressure test, is to get a bottle of nitrogen. Okay, if you've never used one before, you simply crank this open. First off, you open this up to where there's no pressure on this part here. This, this part here leaves it out to your hose. And so you're going to open this up, and it'll go up to however much pressure you have here. I have a couple thousand pounds in mind. Then it'll come into here, and you crank it to wherever you want. Okay, so you want, like on me, uh, on my unit, um, it says 550 pounds of uh, pressure on high. So... I could crank it up to, you know, somewhere else. So let's just say 500 pounds or 400 pounds or whatever. So I just crank it up to that point. And then when you come over to here, you uh, don't want to push the air that's in your line. You don't want to push the air that's in the line into the system. So you just open this a little bit. Uh, open up your valve right here and let the air out until it comes out to nitrogen. Then go back, tighten it up again. Okay, so that way you know you only have nitrogen in the line. Uh, then you just... Uh, Put it in, you know, go like that and put it right in. And uh, so this will it'll come down and uh, then you just shoot it in. I've already done this. So I'm just telling you before I'm about to release it. What's happened here is I have pushed mine in uh, four days ago. And I wanted to double check and triple check. This thing's not moved. And if it was a digital gauge, you could watch it go down by the numbers themselves. But with these kind of gauges, you can't see nothing. And so unless it's really going down quite a bit, you wouldn't know. So uh, I'd have to go four days, and it literally hasn't moved. So with that being the case, I know it's perfect. So at this point, like I said, you just go like that, crank it in there, and go like that. Now, if I did that right now and showed you, it would just release. So I don't want to release anything. I don't have a valve uh, core in here anymore because I removed it from my test. So when you want to do your uh, test, um, you if you want to do it right and do it fast, again, I'm trying to go the quickest way to show you the quickest way, you take out your valve core. Okay, and this is with a Valcor removal tool. And you can watch my other videos and it shows you how to do that. So anyway, that, that, is, that will pressure. Now, now what it is, is this right here, on both of these here, you want to have those both um, all the way out. Okay, so just like you're releasing the, just like you're releasing the gas, okay, when you did the system initially, uh, when, before it leaked all out, the reason you're testing your ODU is because it leaked. Okay, you wouldn't test it if it was full of refrigerant. So uh, it's, it's empty, and you want to know if it's leaking or not. That's the whole point of this thing. Is this thing leaking? Something's leaking because there's no more refrigerant in this thing. So is it this ODU? Is it the outside unit? All right, so my point is you uh, opened it up, okay, and, and let the refrigerant go out last time. Well, you're going to do the same thing uh, when you go to test this thing. You want to pull them all the way open, okay, just cap them off. Cap them off like I, these are the initial caps that came with the system. Just make sure they're tight. You can use a little nylog if you want. Uh, and they, they hold pressure. Okay, you can use uh, bubble test. Um, I have Better Bubble by uh, Rector Seal. That's a great uh, bubbling thing. It's non corrosive for our HVAC systems. Anyway, so put it under to make sure nothing's leaking. Okay, but anyway, crank these things down a little bit. Crank these down with the, with the caps on it. You see the caps? That's the caps that came with the system. All right, so anyway, uh, crank it down, and then um, you're going to test it. So it, it tests at that point because they're all the way open. Okay, so you're feeding into the line. It comes all the way through to the system uh, with this here, okay? And that's it. And you set, you'll set it for whatever, t whatever you want. Again, my mine goes from 350 to 550, so I, I put mine almost 500 pounds, Okay. And uh, so there's no leak. It's been three days, four days, whatever. It's been days. I don't even remember. It's been a lot of days. And uh, it hasn't moved. So anyway, that's how, that's how I know this is not leaking. So now i got to figure out whether it's the IDU or it was the line itself. Okay, it could be the line has a pinhole in it. Who knows? So the next step is I'm going to test the line and the, OD, and the IDU together and get them set up. Okay. So I'll show you how to do that too. But anyway, this, this video is just to test the... A lot of people ask me, how do you test an ODU? Well, you can only test it if it's there's no refrigerant in it. So it only, you can only test it if it's empty. 
There's no way to test it if it's full of, you know, refrigerant. So anyway, the point is, there's no way to know. This is the only way to know that it's not leaking is to pressure test it. And the only way to pressure test it is if the refrigerant's all gone. Anyway, if you have any questions, put them down below and I'll get right on it. Look up for the other videos if you want to see the continuation. Because if you're going through the same thing as me, if you've lost all your refrigerant, and you're trying to figure out why you lost it off. You, if you went and checked your two, your four connections, you check these two connections here. You know, with the ho with the with the uh, line set, and then you tested. You came over and you tested these also with the line set, and you didn't find anything leaking. You know, there was nothing leaking. You go, well, what the hell is causing it to leak then? Uh, so you never did figure it out, but but all but all the refrigerant is gone. Well, you got to diagnose it and figure it out. You don't got to pull it out of the unit like I did. I put it out here in the shop. Um, doesn't matter. I, I'll figure it out from here. I went ahead and just bought another one and replaced it. I wasn't going to screw around with this thing anymore. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let you know exactly what I found. Uh, but this is how we're going to figure it out together. All right. If you have any questions, put them down below.